Hi, welcome back to HotThrillerStar.com, where we review the hottest movies out there for you. My name is Christina Ashley, and I'll be reviewing the movie Max Payne. Now, if you like fast-paced, action-packed, dark, video game-based satiric movie dramas, then Max Payne is for you. Directed by John Moore, this movie is sure to please the need for adrenaline to run in our blood that make us all want to be super cool badasses. Literally, this badass is set in the winter cold. So, guns galore, drugs diluting the minds to hallucinogenic pulp, and hot vixens ready for action are mushed up together within the cinematic adventure, and really, anyone who's lucky enough to be in the circle of fun would be considered half out of their minds mad. Anyway, Max Payne, Mark Wahlberg, is that man, half out of his mind and looking for revenge. Okay, we start off. Diving past his drowning scene, our attention is caught and we see him meticulously working in the cold case files to find the killer of his wife and baby girl. Aww. By investigating, Max uncovers strange and creepy information. We cut to Natasha, an attractive girl whom Max meets. Upon initial introduction, we notice A, the dark mark on her body, B, she's on the drug, and C, somehow there's this omniscient feeling that with the above A and B facts combined, she's gonna die. Hmm, and she does. Natasha, Natasha, Natasha. All you wanted to do was get laid by Mad Max and instead end up being treated like a whore. Get out, bitch! And slaughtered by, oh my god, what are those things? Creepy ass black demon angels? Hells, yes! It connects now. Uh huh. The drugs cause the hallucinations of the angel demons, and a tattoo is an ancient symbol meant for protection. It's ironic, though, we learned that originally the drugs were made to make a person feel invincible, yet, because of a side effect, the people are anything but and truly need protection from themselves. Even though midway through the film becomes predictable, it maintains a constant rush with full-fledged action scenes and awesome graphic detailing. We're amused. Essentially, it's a story about a man looking for revenge who will stop at nothing to get at what he wants. On this adventure, he'll meet certain people who will help unlock the doors to this mystery. And like any other mystery movie, it's about connecting the dots. But... We're missing the most important thing here. Does he get what he wants? Let's just say, we fast forward to the drowning scene. Max is talking about how the dead men in the water are welcoming to his death. They want him bad. But, of course, like MC Hammer sings, nah, 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 can't touch this. Overall, the film sustained a nice, action-packed persona that kept us interested throughout. Even though the film was predictable, it was entertaining nonetheless. However, mostly due to the complexity of Max and the super cool graphic detailing. Like a good drug, this film is a pleasant ride without the crash. This film gives us six stars out of ten. Thanks for tuning in to HotThrillerStars.com. I'm Christina Ashley. I'll see you in the limelight. Guns galore. Drugs diluting the minds to a hallucinogenic pulp. Eh. <laughs> Her mind's a hallucinogenic eh. pulp. All you wanted to do was get laid by Max. Uh, Mad Max. <laughs> <laughs>